Look at the bridge of my nose. How unlucky am I that I was born with this thing? Special thank you to my $10 and up Patreon supporters and Dr. John Vanderlaan and Steve Bradshaw. Thank you and thanks, buddy. Well, hello there, Papper people. My name is Jason. I'm a registered polysomnographic technologist, the founder of freesleepepadvice.com forward slash forum if you want to join the forum. We're going to be doing a review of the Philips Respironix Dreamwear full face mask. This is much anticipated. Bask in the warm glow of an early release. Now I have to do a little bit of thinking here. One is I need to thank Pugsy. Now if you don't know who Pugsy is, Pugsy is on my forum. She's also on another forum. So thank you so much Pugsy for letting me try this out. I've been trying it out for a month and I promise you I'm throwing it in a box as soon as I'm done with this and I'm going to be sending it back to you so you will have your little precious. And last but not least, I would like to thank uh, CheapCPAPSupplies.com. Are you looking to find the Dreamwear Full Face Mask by Philips Respironix? Let's check it out. If we just look for full mask systems, 169, 129, 169, 169, 159. These are just little pieces. 129, 169, 159, 139. It has to get better than this. Let's check out our sponsor here, CheapSeepAppSupplies.com. So look at this, guys. You have two different options, 130, and you get every single cushion that comes available in every size. Or you can uh, do a little homework ahead of time and measure your nose and save yourself 20 bucks. Oh, but 109, you think that's all? Do you think that's it? You think I'd leave you hanging like that? No, Lefty's not going to leave you hanging like that. 109, eh? Best you can do? Heh, heh. Check out Lefty. 15 and apply. What does that 109 become, folks? Oh, you can get it for $92.65. Cheap CPAP Supplies is giving you a great deal. Please check them out. They are sponsoring me. They're helping me out immensely. And they're also doing you a great service as well. Look at that, 92 bucks for the Dreamwear full face mask. Look, whether you're looking for a mask, a CPAP machine, any accessories, these guys are gonna be rock bottom and you use Lefty 15 when you're checking out and you save even more. It's ridiculous. You can use the link in the description box below or you can also use the link at the top of freecpapadvice.com forward slash forum. All right, let's get to it. So we have the Dreamwear full face mask. Now you're probably wondering, hey Jason, hey Jason, I already have the Dreamwear mask, the nasal mask. How can I use this as cheaply as possible? Well, my friends, you've come to the right place. Okay, look at this. Looky, looky. We're gonna take this part off. Now we have the full face mask segment. See the two arrows? We're gonna click that in. We're gonna take the other side, make sure all this is square, there's no twisty twisties. We're gonna pop this in. Wow, way to make it look hard, Jason. Perfect, it's great. Now we are left with a dicked up headgear. So we need to take the headgear off. I'm not gonna do it because it's a pain in the ass. And we're simply gonna replace it with the headgear off of this one. So if you wanna get a cheap version of this, just take your old, uh, take your old Dreamwear nasal mask all you need is a cushion and some headgear, and then you can use this portion all by itself. Just save you probably 50 bucks, maybe 60. You can see just how similar those are. Now the only difference is that with the full face mask, it continues on down to cover up the entire mouth. So as far as fit goes, if you like the Dreamwire nasal cushion, the Dreamwire full face mask is gonna be Seriously, you're gonna feel like you're right at home. One thing I also want to show is how flexible this is. Now, there is some hard plastic here. I should say it's harder plastic, but you can see how flexible that is. It's really not that hard. There's also quite a bit of cushioning around here. It's all one piece, but you can see how much cushioning that there is. Another thing that I'd really like to point out is that right here, we have a magnet technology. Uh, the magnets make it so nice, make it so easy to attach these at night when you're trying to go to sleep. You don't have to mess around and try to find little holes or hooks or anything. Just a little magnet right on. Simple. All right, getting this on and off is really quite easy. It's pretty much the exact same as the other one with one small exception. So getting this thing on is really the exact same as a Dreamwire nasal cushion mask. You're just going to grab the silicone part here, the tube where the air travels through. Put this part up over your head. Nose in here. So that would be it if we're just using the nasal mask. But now we just have to take these straps. 
Okay, you want to make sure that this here is right on top of your head. Some people kind of mess this up and they try to pull it back like that. That's not the right way to fit this. You want to have it on top of your head. Right there is perfect. And really, when you're sizing the cushion, what you're doing is you're sizing it according to the width or length of your nose. I fall into a large because my nose is long and it needs to reach the end of this. The only other exception is if your nose is wider than this, like say here, you're going to be using a wide medium. That's the only option if you have a wider nose. Um, but smaller and medium are just shorter length nose than my behemoth beak. All right, so what does this thing look like turned on? This is on 10 centimeters of water pressure. So you have a little bit of air coming out here, a little bit of venting, but most of it is right up through here. Before I actually try it on, try it on like in bed and roll around with it, I'll go ahead and give you my thoughts on it right now. If you like the Dreamwear, and I really, really do, you're going to like the Dreamwear full face mask. If you have the Dreamwear cushion, and you just need a full face mask if you're like sick, or maybe you decide, I need a full face mask because I mouth breathe, no brainer, go with this. It's, 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 it feels the exact same. In fact, I often don't even notice the, the part going around my mouth. I typically don't like full face masks, mostly because they come up over the nose. But look, with this, you have nothing coming over, up over the bridge. That makes this thing so easy to fit. It is so easy to get leak free. Other masks, you know, that come up over the nose, you have to deal with pressure sores on here. And you also have to deal with the leaking part of like, look at the bridge of my nose. How unlucky am I that I was born with this thing? I mean, God, look at this, it's disgusting. But to try to seal this is almost impossible. And a lot of you have unfortunate noses too, I'm sure. But look at that, that's horrible. But to try to, to try to fit this, all the surface area and all the contours are difficult. Why not just snug it up under the nose? Boom, and you're done with it. So next question, is this better than the Amara View, also made by uh, Respironics? I would say yes. It's much more low profile. The silicone is extremely soft on this, whereas on the Amara View, I had a hard time with it pushing in here. It was so rigid and so unforgiving. I didn't like that. Boy, I just have rainbows and Skittles shooting out of my butt right now, don't I? I couldn't be, I couldn't be gushing over this anymore. My heartfelt approach. There's gotta be something wrong with this, Jason. What's wrong with this mask? Well, I'm glad you asked. So all the same problems that people have with the typical Dreamwear mask apply to this as well. Some people say that they can feel hissing going through the tubes at night. It's not gonna be any different than this. Now I use a white noise machine at night and I'm just not real susceptible to that kind of, kind of intrusion. It doesn't really bother me. So it doesn't bother me. If you're someone that's tried the Dreamwear nasal mask and you're like, well, I wonder if these tubes are gonna be any better delivering the air at a quieter, at a, at a much quieter level, you're gonna be disappointed. It's gonna be the exact same. The other thing some people notice is when they lay on their side, they would feel like there is a pressure drop. And I can understand this at a higher pressure rate. Um, when I was testing this at 16, I slept with this thing for like a month. When I was testing it at 16, which by the way, I can't sleep with, so you know, forget that. But when I was laying there awake going, crisis is a high pressure, and I was testing out you know, that, that uh, problem, I did notice that I was getting some what felt like drops in pressure when I was laying on my side, and it would pinch off this side, so all the, all the pressure was supposed to be coming through this tube. It, it seemed like it wasn't able to keep up quite that much. And it seemed like the break point for me, and this is, this is super rough, it was kind of in that 12 to 16. It kind of depended on how pinched this was. It's not like I could test that, but it seems like there's a pressure drop in that range, maybe. Let's talk about longevity of this thing. So this one has been used for, um, I think before Pugsy gave it to me, she had someone using it. She used it for, I could be messing this up. It seems like it was a week or two. She sent this to someone else, a husband and wife who used it again for another two to three weeks. And I've used it for another month. So we're looking at about two to three months, about two months of use, which is pretty, you know, that's a lot of use. Now I've been, yeah, cleaning it, but I mean, look at how new it looks. The headgear looks pretty great. It's held up very well. The, you don't really need to, <laughs> you don't really need to undo the Velcro for this like at all. So there's not gonna be much wear and tear there. I think the headgear is great. It seems robust. Again, look how, look how fresh it looks. It looks very nice and very new. Another thing on this that people get kind of freaked out about, you just have to know that the air is gonna come out of here. It's leaking out of here. You don't have any control about where it goes, but it's not a jet of air. It's fairly gentle. 
And you're gonna have the same thing up here. Now this is the main spot where expired air is supposed to come out. That's normal. You don't wanna cover up either of them. Just know that it's gonna be coming out of both spots. Don't freak out like, oh my God, it's leaking. Ah. All right, what is the best thing about this mask? The best thing about it is look, I, I'm not like an elephant. I don't have the tube hanging out here. It's not pulling me around. It's right on top of my head. It's not annoying at all, except the air turning on. That's annoying. I'm gonna lay down in bed and uh, kind of show you a little close up. We can look at side sleeping and back sleeping. Hey, this is 10 centimeters of water pressure. Oh, by the way, this works really well with a beard. I had like a lot of facial hair a couple of nights just to check that. No problems with sealing with a beard. So if you're a hipster and you've got apnea, you're gonna love it. Boring, no leaking. Let's go ahead and bury our face. Important note, sometimes if you're sleeping and you hear hissing, a lot of times, like right there, I had a little hissing sound and it's because the pillow was buried in. If you have any turbulence caused by the air hitting the pillow, it's gonna be causing a rushing air sound. So you can hear a pssss. If you move that away, it all goes away. Same with the upper part here. This was going into the pillow up here. And once I rotated this around, it went away. So just be aware of that kind of thing. So let's go ahead and try this thing at 20 centimeters of water pressure, see how it handles. And then we'll talk about a few more things. <laughs> Okay, one more thing I want to talk about, and that is uh, leaking with full face mask. So a lot of people like think that for some reason when you have a full face mask, you're going to be eliminating all possible leaks at all times. That's just not the case. One, you have more surface area to try to fit. Even though this one is about as minimal as you can get, you still have a lot more surface area than you do just going around the nose or just under the nose. So what you need to understand is that with a full face mask, because it's covering up your mouth, if you get a sleep like this with your jaw here, and you're like laying on your back and while you relax your jaw comes back like that from this gravity now this all of a sudden you have a gap in here and it's going to be leaking so to remedy that gap you can try two different things this is for all masks it's not just this one you can use a boil and bite double-sided mouth guard these can be purchased for like i've seen them as high like as five bucks maybe ten bucks uh, it's like a martial arts type, type. You boil it, you bite into it. It keeps your jaw locked and in place. Now this isn't successful for everyone, but it's successful for a lot of people. Okay, another method that you can try is a soft cervical collar. It kind of sucks in summer because it gets really hot, but the cervical collar just fits up under here and it encourages you, kind of keeps your jaw locked into place. So that's another method that you can try. Pretty successful. Uh, the last one I would try is a, a chin strap. Chin straps can be good if you put them on right, but they tend to have, you know, be, be hard to stay in the place. And also sometimes you'll get it where like if you put it on wrong, it pulls back and it actually causes more of a problem as far as CPAP is used to create a, a pneumatic splint and holds your airway open. But if you have something pulling back actively on your jaw, you're fighting against that. So I don't really like chin straps for that reason. So I would try the soft boil and bite mouth guard first because they're cheaper. Then I try the, the soft cervical collar. That's, that's about 15 bucks. So it makes it pretty nice. So to sum up my review of the Dreamwear Full Face Mask, I really like it. I think it's a great option. Uh, it, it eliminates so many problems of breakdown of the nose, the bridge of the nose, because it doesn't go over the bridge of the nose. It's also very easy to keep leak free. Doesn't perform the best at 20 centimeters of water pressure, like really high pressures, but I think it um, it's right there in line with everything else. I don't think anything's real great at that pressure. You're gonna hear hissing and leaking from somewhere. Where would I rate it as far as top mass? As of right now, it's really hard to know because I haven't seen a lot of feedback, but I would certainly put it in the top two. It's easily, it's definitely one that I would try first, like a first line, like, hey, you're gonna try full face mask? Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and try that Dream More full face mask. I would definitely try it as one of the first, if not, you know, first, second, third, for sure. Probably top two, because I simply, I think it's that good. Um, it also makes it really nice that if you don't need to use a full face mask every night, you can use a lot of the parts interchangeably like with the Dreamwear 
just a dream or cushion you can just use the headgear for that with the exception of the actual headgear strap you can use a silicone piece and just swap out the other two parts and, and you're, you're off and running hey all that said you guys have an opinion too have you tried it yet if you've tried it let me know what you think about it in the comment section below let other people know that you absolutely loved it let us know what the problem spots are what you hated about it what you'd try instead i'm by no means the end all be all as far as opinion goes on this so so be a part of this conversation and let me know in the comment section down below. Hey, again, if you are looking, if you enjoy the content that I put out and you found this helpful, please consider a small donation or, or just helping us out in some way listed below in the description box. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, Mr. Squirrel here, the viewer friendly YouTube cat certainly appreciates it. Guys, as always, thanks for watching again. I also need to thank all the people that go into the description box below. They look at all the possible ways they can use to support me. Uh, all my Patreon supporters, you have no idea how helpful you guys have been lately. Uh, YouTube is killing me. Um, as well as people who just do straight PayPal donations. You guys are so appreciated. Again, you have no idea. And the people that just simply watch these videos, 